Hi, Nick Perdomo, Perdomo Cigars. I get asked frequently, Nick, what's the difference between smaller ring gauge cigars versus larger ring gauge cigars? Let me start by saying that I love small ring gauge cigars as much as I love many of the larger ring gauge cigars. I believe that when you make a cigar, regardless of size, the blend or dosage should be consistent and its flavor should be also. A lot of people say that they taste the wrapper more in a smaller ring gauge cigar versus a larger ring gauge cigar. And I personally don't always agree with that because if you use the correct amount of tobaccos in the filler blend, you should have a consistent blend regardless of size in a line of cigars. That's why a great blender will make sure that it gets done correctly. But I will give you that smaller cigars come across more intense sometimes. But that's because you're gonna build up a lot more heat because of its constriction being a smaller size. I believe that this is a great analogy. You know, when my mom used to cook sauce, she'd always use, of course, fresh tomatoes, basil, salt, pepper, and garlic. Truth be told, I'm not much of a cook, but if she was gonna make a pot for 20 people or a small pot of sauce for two people, I guarantee you one thing, they tasted exactly the same. Consistency is the name of the game, folks. Naturally, with a bigger pot, she would add more salt, more pepper, more basil, more garlic. The important thing is she knew the exact parts per ingredient for the amount of people she was cooking for. Well, it's the same thing with a great cigar and it's different ring gauges. When I'm gonna make a cigar line, and let's say we're gonna, we're gonna start with a 44 ring gauge cigar and we're gonna end it out with a 60 ring gauge cigar, I'm gonna put in so much light, medium, and strength fillers in that small 42 ring gauge cigar and when I'm going to apply that to the 60 ring gauge cigar, of course, I'm going to add more strength tobaccos, more mid-strength tobaccos, and even some lighter tobaccos to make sure that the blends, regardless of the ring gauges, are going to remain equivalent in flavor. And we're going to make sure that regardless of size, that they are going to be equivalent in taste. It takes a lot of time and work to make sure that we get these things done correctly. But I'll tell you one thing. Smaller ring gauge cigars do burn slightly hotter because the circumference is smaller. A bigger ring gauge cigar is always going to smoke a little cooler because of its circumference. So it's natural. You're going to have more surface area, which in turn is going to give you more oxygen and more air passage. And I believe that's one of the main reasons that people are gravitating to larger ring gauge cigars like 54, 56, and 60s. Sometimes people ask me, Nick, why do some of your lines are all 50 or 54 or 56? A prime example would be the Perdomo 12-year Double Age Vintage. With this cigar, the flavor that I really wanted could only be done in larger ring gauges. The reason being the tobaccos that I wanted were all extremely thick, and I really tried to make smaller ring gauges, but I just couldn't get the flavor that I wanted. And thankfully, it rarely happens. But when we come up with a new cigar, we normally start off with a 44 or 46. And trust me, as a, small, as a cigar maker, smaller cigars actually make higher profits. A great example would be a 6x60 ring gauge cigar. It takes 70 pounds to make 1,000 cigars in its filler blend. Yet a 5x50 Robusta only takes between 34 and 35 pounds to make 1,000 cigars. Nothing changes on the cost of the binder and wrapper. So let's say a Robusto is seven bucks. I surely can't charge 14 bucks for the six by 60. Normally that cigar would retail anywhere between nine and $10. So as you can see, making bigger ring gauge cigars in most instances is the exact opposite of what many consumers think. But consumers have been asking us for bigger ring gauges for the last 28 years of me being in the cigar industry. And you know what? I work for you. You're our customer. You put food on our tables, and I take your input very seriously. So if you smoke a line of cigars and you see there's a difference of taste between sizes, watch out. There could be inconsistencies in the blend. And I still, to this day, will take a line of our cigars. We normally have about five shapes and sizes per brand. I will smoke every one of them during my long days, especially in Nicaragua. I always have my cell phone and I type all my notes. And I'm really happy to say that I see consistency in the blends and flavor throughout our lines. And it makes me so proud. It makes me proud of our workforce. I tell you, I'll, I'll go out and I'll tell our whole team and they'll just start smiling. 
Our people really care. They are so proud and passionate of their work. What's even more rewarding is to see the enjoyment on your faces when you smoke a Perdomo cigar. And I'd like to thank you all for the great pictures, all of your kind posts on social media, and all the nice words I receive when I visit cigar stores all across our country. Honestly, that makes my day. And I gotta tell you that I love making these videos, and I trust that you enjoy them also. So please hit your subscribe, like, and share button, and I will try to do my very best to provide great information on our passion of great cigars. Thank you very much.